Greetings, pilots. We have new free content in Starlink Battle for Atlas. Check out the new enemy units, a new activity, and a brand new photo mode. First up, brand new enemy units have arrived in the Atlas star system. The Sentinel is a Legion unit that scouts the area for threats and calls nearby Legion to their position. These Sentinels summon gravity orbs that redirect and absorb enemy fire. Use the pluck mechanic to remove their cores and disable them. Obelisks you will find on Sonatus, Ashar, and Necrom. They defend their troops with highly focused light beams. You must strategically remove its center power cell to disable the unit. Snowcatches and Pricklebrs appear on Tundria and Haven respectively. These pesky flora attach themselves to starships and slow them down. Destroy them, or pick them up and throw them at your enemy to use them to your advantage. Gloom gobs and bile bombs are a new and different challenge that we've introduced to the environments of Necrom and Vilas. These nasty blobs will follow anything that attacks them and grow when taking damage, eventually exploding on impact. Be careful. The bigger they are, the more damage they do. Ashworms live exclusively in the acid pools on Ashar. These creatures are extremely aggressive, attacking ships on sight. Sandworms roam Kirit, the desert planet. Attempt to pluck their scales and deliver them to expedition outposts for rare mods. But be careful. These relentless creatures will not let up without a chase. We still do not know where the spirit of Electrum came from, or exactly what it is. It is a mystifying entity that drops Electrum when provoked, but will attempt to flee as soon as it is spotted. Electrum asteroids are rare chunks of earth and metal saturated with Electrum that are thought to be the result of an experiment performed by the Wardens in an attempt to artificially fill Atlas with more Electrum. You can find these in space. We have added a brand new activity that we call Outlaw Fortifications. You can find these fortifications all over Atlas, and they are defended by Scrapper and Ravager turrets. These turrets are equipped with defenses that must be disabled using your active shield ability. Time it just right to reflect the turret's projectiles back and make them vulnerable. Finally, we are very happy to announce that we are introducing a photo mode to Starlink Battle for Atlas. Capture your favorite moments using several tools, such as depth of field, exposure, saturation, and vignette. Add an overlay to personalize your very own screenshot masterpiece. The dev team went crazy with this new mode, showing off their creativity so we can't wait to see what your photos look like. We hope that you will enjoy all the new content we have packed into our early holiday gift. Thanks for playing, pilots, and happy holidays from the entire Starlink team.